Hi, Kumar Korshaw here, and now we're going to be going over the strategy to stop loss placement. So we're going to first look at the long stop loss, meaning the stop loss that we're going to be placing on our long trade. So the stop loss for a long trade will go below the low of the nearest low pivot. So here we have our A, B, C, D down. We are going to be going in immediately at point D for a long. And remember, if you ever get confused about which direction we're trading for strategy two, we're always going to be going against the CD leg. So CD leg is down, we're going to be going long, up. Now we've already met pivots earlier on in the course, so all we're going to be doing is going back in price and seeing what the closest low pivot is to the entry point. So the entry point is here. We're going to be going back, and obviously we're going to be going further than the ABCD. We've got this low pivot here. We've got this low pivot here. And we've got this low pivot here and then this one further back here as well. We've got to make sure that the pivot you choose is not too close to the entry price. You must give price a little room to breathe, i.e. fluctuate a little before going your way. So we've got the entry here. We're going to be going long. Now the first pivot I identified, now this pivot is too close. It's not giving price enough space to breathe. As you can see, here's the entry, and here is a pivot. It's way too close. The next pivot I identified, that's where the stop loss is going to be placed, below that low pivot here. It's a decent distance, and it's the next furthest out. Now the pivot I identified here is just too far. I mean, that's way too much of a distance here. So we've got this one that was way too close. And then we had the next one out, which was the right place to put it. And then we had one that is just too far. So you've got to make sure that the pivot is not too far and it's not too close. You've got to give it a bit of room to breathe. You know, we are going to get fluctuations. As you can see here, price did fluctuate a bit here. And then it started going our way. With a short stop loss, we want to be putting it above the high of the nearest high pivot. So here we have our A, B, C, D up. Now again, the C to D is up, so we're going to be going short. I'd also like to point out that price is trending down. The MAs are in this area, all in the right direction. They're all trending down. Now, what that means is when we see that price is trending down, we're looking to go short. So we're looking for an ABCD up move in order to go short at the D point. So with strategy one, we would be looking for an ABCD down to capitalize on that down move in the C to D leg. And with the strategy two, we're looking for an ABCD up move to go in immediately at the D point for a short. So here we have the entry where we're going to be going short at the D point. We're going to be looking for a pivot high. So we go back in time and we're looking for the first pivot high, which is this one right here. We've got another pivot high here. And we've also got this one a bit lower, but obviously we wouldn't look at that because we've got this pivot high here. But what we can see here is that that first pivot high is where the stop can be placed because it's a decent distance from the entry point. It gives price enough room to fluctuate and it's a decent distance away. Of course you can put it up here, but this is the first pivot high that comes along and it is a safe distance away from the entry point. So you won't be wrong putting it up here, but if you can put a tighter stop, why not? So that's the stop placement. Now let's take a look at the trade management. I'm going to cover this in the next video. This is Kumar Korsha for Trade to Success University. Please go on to the next page to continue with the training.